Hi, CBC Music. My name's George Ezra, and I'm in conversation here with Jesse Kinos Gooden. My house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beauty focus EOU. I did this trip, it took about a month. I just went around and I visited about nine cities and only one of them I'd been to before, so everything was really new to me. And I was just writing down everything I was seeing, even if it seemed mundane or boring or characters I was meeting and things like that. And then when I got home, I wrote the songs from what I'd written down. Um, and yeah, there was a page that said, that, you know, I was meant to go to Budapest, miss the train, plans have changed, you know, I've moved on. A lot of people write a song, I would give up everything I have for somebody. Whereas I thought it'd be funnier or sweeter to kind of list grand things that I definitely don't have. I don't have any property in Budapest. Baby, if you owe me, then all of this will go. The thing that stands out for me the most from that trip in particular, there was like one train I got from Amsterdam to Copenhagen was 14 hours long. And it's like Harry Potter, you know, like they have their little sections. It's the first time I've been on a train like that and you pull your bed out. And in fact, on that train at the beginning, the first few stops in, the police all came down and they were knocking on doors. And I was like a bit scared about what was going on. And they dragged some kid out who looked like me. It's a good job we didn't get mixed up. Or maybe we did. Maybe that poor kid wasn't meant to be dragged out. Baby, if you want me to... It was funny, like I was listening to a lot of old blues and American music and uh, I was reading in particular the back of a Lead Belly record and it said that Lead Belly's voice was so big that you had to turn your record player down compared to other vinyl. And I liked that idea and I tried to sing with a big voice and I could. It's like it was completely different, it was a lot more shouty and I've kind of reined it in. At home we were always allowed to pick what we ate for a dinner on our birthdays when we were a kid and I don't know why I always picked macaroni cheese. I don't even know if anyone cooked it that well in my family, I just liked macaroni cheese. Like me and my friends would always end up putting on fat lip by some 41 at some point in the night, normally like when everyone had come home and people were starting to flag and go to bed, it would be like, nah, put that on. Start me to the party line, name was Aline. <laughs> Wait, how'd it go? Are they Canadian? Yeah. Some for That's perfect. <laughs> High five, George. That's, <laughs> uh, I've nailed that. <laughs> we did another train trip. I know nothing about <laughs> that city. I didn't even have a great time while I was there, if yeah. I'm honest, because I was just being carted around everywhere. So I love great. Budapest, it's great, you should all go and visit. And <laughs> hey, I'm Rich Terfry, host of Radio 2 Drive. If you like what you just saw, why not share this video with a friend? And don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching, we got lots more videos. We got videos here, we got videos here, and don't forget you can leave a comment down below.